Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a scrunch ice dyed shirt. To begin, I've laid my shirt out flat and I'm just scrunching it up. About part way through here I decided that I wanted to go ahead and have three distinct areas of my shirt. So I kind of unscrunched it a little bit and then scrunched it up and made it a little bit straighter. Then I'm just going to loosely tie it or hold it in place with some rubber bands. I'm using a washable marker to mark the three areas of my shirt that I want to use different colors of dye on. And then I'm making a mark up here at the top so that I know which is the top of my shirt. Sometimes after they get tied up and you move them around a little bit, you lose track of where the top of the shirt is and where the bottom of the shirt is. At least I do anyway. I'm going to ice dye this one on a rack. So I've made myself a barrier to help keep the ice on the shirt. I just took some heavy duty aluminum foil layered it probably two or three times and wrapped it around my shirt, kind of crimped it down where the two pieces come together to hold it in place. The top of my shirt where my sleeves and the neck are, I'm putting robin's egg blue. And then the middle portion, I'm gonna put lime pop. And the bottom area is gonna be citrus yellow. Then I'm gonna layer on some soda ash and put on a layer of ice. After a few hours, I came back and checked my shirt after all the ice had melted. I went ahead and flipped the shirt over and put another layer of dye, soda ash, and ice on the back side of the shirt. Then I let it continue to process. Okay, so here's what our shirt ended up looking like. I hope you guys are enjoying watching these videos. If you are, I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that really easily by just hitting the big red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.